Officially the Republic of Haiti, is a Latin American country on the Caribbean island of Hispaniola, which it shares with the Dominican Republic. Haiti also includes many smaller islands such as Lago Nave, La Torta, Tortuga, Les Cayamites, Il de Anacaona, and La Grande Cay. The uninhabited island of Navas is claimed by both Haiti and the United States. Anyone who looks at the history of voodoo and its profound impact on this island nation knows this spot is very haunted. Haiti Voodoo Altar Roman Catholicism is the state religion, which the majority of the population professes. An estimated 20% of the population practices Protestantism. A large percentage of the population in Haiti also practices the religion of voodoo. voodoo Almost always alongside Roman Catholic observances in most sects, it is required to become Roman Catholic first. Many Haitians deny the recognition of voodoo as a standalone religion and some claim it is a false religion. One common saying is that Haitians are 70% Catholic, 30% Protestant, and 100% voodoo, said Ling Warburg, a photographer who has documented Haitian voodoo for over a decade. In April 2003 an executive decree by then-President Jean Bertrand Aristide sanctioned voodoo as an officially recognized religion. It is a religion in the same way Judaism or Christianity is, said Bob Corbett, Professor Emeritus of Philosophy at Webster University in St. Louis, Missouri. Voodoo doesn't have a sacred text, a church, or a hierarchical structure of leaders, but it is very similar culturally. Voodoo meaning spirit, may be one of the world's oldest ancestral, nature-honoring traditions, according to Mamasi Vivian Dancy Hounan, a member of Oath, the Organization of African Traditional Healers in Martinez, Georgia. Some anthropologists estimate that voodoo's roots in Benin, formerly Dahomey, West Africa may go back 6,000 years. Today an estimated 60 million people practice voodoo worldwide. During the ceremony, the Hungan or Mambo, priest or priestess, sacrifices a sanctified chicken or other animal to the loa. Participants then ask the spirits for advice or help with problems. More than half the requests are for health. It is said that the loas sometimes communicate prophecies, advice, or warnings while the believer is possessed. Other messages are sent through the priest or priestess, or sometimes come later in dreams. These disembodied spirits are believed to become tired and worn down, and rely on humans to feed them in periodic rituals, including sacrifices. It's not the killing of the animals that matters, it's the transfer of life energy back to the loa.